All right, towners. To start off with this recipe here, uh, we're going to be making a breakfast sandwich today. So we have a skillet here. We added in some bacon grease. Uh, cooked some bacon the other day and saved the grease from that. Removed all the little bits and crust and crumbles of bacon in there and just saved the grease. Use that for the skillet to cook these eggs and ham. Put the ham into the skillet. That's some off the bone ham. You can use whatever type of ham you have or you don't even have to use ham, but we're frying up ham and bacon grease for this. In the second skillet, we added in some additional bacon grease and put in some of our homies, the jalapeno, as well as some onions and sauteed that up with some kosher salt and black pepper. Uh, we cooked these for about a minute and a half, two minutes or so, uh, just basically enough for the jalapenos and onions to soften up a bit. And at that point, we were good. Uh, also went over to the other skillet and flipped the ham slices over that we were cooking. Again, that's over on about a medium heat over there. Now we went in and cracked our eggs in. Uh, we added in four eggs into the skillet. And from there, just went ahead and scrambled them up. Uh, we also added in some heavy whipped cream to that. Uh, we didn't add any additional seasoning to it, any additional salt or pepper. Feel free to do so if you need to, though. Um, I felt that the salt and pepper that we added in with the uh, jalapenos and onions was enough to carry over for the eggs also. And then there's also a little bit of salt in the bacon grease as well. It's a little salty. So that was enough for that. So we went ahead and scrambled our eggs. Scramble the eggs to your liking. I like mine uh, a little past runny, not wet or not wet, <laughs> not runny or not liquidy, but not like fried hard to a crisp unless I'm frying them. So at this point, this is good enough for me. The ham at that point is done also. I'll show you how that looked like on the camera. Uh, pretty much going to lower the heat on that and um, just let that go. Uh, once the eggs were pretty set, we went ahead and worked on our flip again. And, uh, this flip went rather nicely. Nothing flew out of the pan or anything and <laughs> getting a little better at that. At this point, we went ahead and topped the, uh, topped our eggs off with some spinach and that was it. Um, just let it go and let the residual heat from the eggs just go ahead and wilt that spinach and, um, uh, now, from that point on, it's time for us to start making our sandwich. Now, uh, for our sandwich, we are using uh, keto bread. We have some of the uh, ke uh, keto sliced wheat bread from Aldi's. And we went ahead and popped that in the toaster and gave it, gave it a, light, a light toast on that. Once it came out of the toaster, we put down some sugar-free jelly uh, from Walmart, sugar-free strawberry jelly. Next, we added down some cheese slices. This was a thinly sliced cheese, so it's kind of like one regular slice, just sliced really thin. Um, so basically a slice of cheese or two. Then we put down our ham, two pieces of ham, and then our eggs. Um, the uh, I realized this piece was a little bigger than I expected, so I just broke that portion off um, and put that on the top half and then folded up the sandwich. And at that point, we're good to go. Um, that extra piece that I took off, it kind of made the sandwich kind of lift up a bit. So I removed that. And now it's time for us to chop our sandwich in half. You know, normally I don't like chopping my sandwiches in half, but I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> I'm doing it for you guys. I like to eat my sandwich whole. But here is what the inside of the sandwich looked like. A nice little close up of that. And it, uh, you can see everything in here, the bread, the cheese, ham, egg. You pretty much see everything except for the strawberry jelly. Um, I like to add a little strawberry, a little sweetness to my egg or breakfast sandwiches. Um, you can either add that or maybe even some uh, syrup if you like. But now we're going in for a taste test. Here's another close up of what the sandwich looked like and going in for a bite. Got my Warriors championship hat on. Congratulations, guys. Um, <laughs> but we went in for a taste, and the sandwich came out great. Uh, nice crisp from the ham. The ham was fried a little hard, so you got that crunch from that along with the toasted bread. The cheese melted in with the with the uh, warm ham and the eggs, so it melted over top of the bread. But everything on this came out great. Just a quick breakfast sandwich, ready to go in about 10 minutes, however long it takes for you to fry up the ham and the eggs. And um, I made two sandwiches, one for me, one for my wife, and she knocked hers out as well. I don't think she put any jelly on hers, but hey, I like it like that. If you guys have any questions or comments, you know, as always, feel free to hit us up in the comment section below. If you got any other breakfast ideas, let me know how you what, what we can do for you guys. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. 
Hey Towners, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.